welcome to the channel it's September 10th uh, we're on a small lake medium-sized lake I guess in the Brainerd Lakes area it's a lake we've been on before we've got some quite heavy shallow vegetation a uh, little bit off-colored water uh, cool evenings cooling the water down a little bit every day it seems it's down a degree or two uh, so uh, we're hoping it's not too challenging but uh, we've uh, we've caught them on here before we'll just have to see how it goes hopefully the fish will be cooperative today got a little bit of wind today won't be glassy calm like it was yesterday so uh, I'm hoping that that'll make the fishing a little bit better so for Rick in the back my name is Mark this is man on a mission fishing thanks so much for joining don't forget to like and subscribe we'll get started here in a second exactly what we're looking for but we'll take them pound and a half or maybe in the rice he's bigger than the last one but the last one was only about four ounces yeah keeper number two one pound six ounce Got him on the uh, creature bait in the rice and pad mix Feel weeds out here? Yeah. Um. Swim jig and then let it die. And I turn to talk to you, I stop reeling and it flutters and he must have hit it. Fish number three, it's a two pound, three ouncer. Caught him on a swim jig. Having a difficult time getting bites. We've only had probably six, seven bites so far. It has not been as I expected. Thought maybe the front side of this, front side of this point coming out here with the wind blowing on it, maybe they'd be out there. Snake, I'll bet anything. That's a nice bass. Hey, that's four. That's a pound and a pound and a half, pound and three quarters. Fish number four, one pound 13 ounce, or caught him on a swim jig. That's kind of weird, you know. I felt him hit it, and then I. There's another one. Uh, 
felt him hit it, and then I jerked it away from him and missed him, and then when I reeled up the slack, it was on there again. There's fish number five. Ho oh, ho, we got, it's gonna be about eight pounds. There's fish number five, it's a one pound seven ouncer. Back to back cast with the swim jig over here off this weed point. So we're up to 8.22, which uh, isn't, isn't gonna do it. Number one, it's a 213 caught on a jig, fishing on an offshore hump now. Uh, moved away from the shoreline a little bit, started to catch a few more fish. So we're gonna concentrate out on this little uh, weed hump for a few more minutes and see if we can't get another one. That takes up to 9.74. Bigger than the last one. Yeah, baby. Yes. Come on. No, he he hit it swimming in. Yeah. Nice. I love it. That's a good one. Uh, two and a two and a half again. Maybe not quite as big as that last one. I don't think, huh? I don't think he's quite as big. Yeah. There's call number two. It's a two pound nine ouncer. Again, caught on the jig off of this little weed hump. Takes up to 10.91. Uh, 10.91. So now we're getting somewhere. Get her 13. I will be shocked. Well, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. It's a two pound seven ouncer. Takes up to 11.92. So we're just on this one little grass hump here. We found a bunch of two pounders. So feeling pretty good about that. He hit so close to the boat. Good fish. Get him in here. Huh? Get him in here. Yeah. I mean, it's not a giant. 
swim jig fish. I'll bet you there's a school on the point here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and um, position us. I'm gonna go out this way so that we can cast up onto it. So that we can both get in there. Solid two and a half, I think. Two two and a quarter. Twelve sixty one. Two pound eight ounce on the swim jig takes up to twelve point six one. One solid keeper away from uh, getting our uh, 13 pound goal. So we got got about an hour and a half left, I suppose. We'll see how we do. There's one. That's a better one, if it's a bass. Mm, it is. Please, don't get off. It's a two and a half, I would say. There's another call, it's a three pound one ouncer on the swim jig. Uh, takes us up to 12, uh, 13.47. So we made our 13 pound goal today, which uh, Rick bet me a thousand dollars we wouldn't. <laughs> he didn't actually bet me a thousand dollars. He made some other derogatory uh, uh, not derogatory, but some other. Uh, yeah, it was a derogatory uh, statement that I, I didn't want to repeat. So. <laughs> five bit. <laughs> Swim jig, Cumberland Pro. Pleasure Shad, 13 on the back. That seems to be what they're biting. I've caught probably eight fish here off this spot but only a couple of them have weighed. So, they're, they seem to be going in this wind. There's another one. Insane. Right next to the boat, this is all the line I had out. It's another good one. Look at the size of the fat on that one. I'm just gonna reel my line up and hold my arms across <laughs> my chest. I'm done. There we go. Next cast. A three pound six ounce around the swim jig. Takes up to 14.41. That thing is really healthy. These fish look awesome in this lake. How it can go from being so slow to all of a sudden just getting on them. It's so funny. We are ready to just eat sandwiches and drink uh, Powerade all afternoon here, but it looks like we got a, got some fish to catch. <laughs> Give our spot a little rest for 45 minutes or so. Come back, first, second pass, boom. Let's see, it needs to, it's not, it's not a three pounder. Here's a 
Look, another call. It's a two pound 12 ouncer. Takes up to 14.68. So the day ends with 14.68. Pretty good uh, total for us. We made our 13 pound goal. So both goals for the day were set. We uh, were, were reached uh, five fish and over 13 pounds. Caught most of our fish on swim jigs and plastic worms. Uh, started the day shallow. Didn't catch a whole lot other than dinks and then moved off to the deeper weed lines on kind of these isolated uh, sunken humps in that uh, 10 to 15 foot range. Uh, ended up swimming a jig through uh, through the weeds to catch catch most of the good ones. Uh, it was a pretty good day. The weather was pretty nice. Wind starting to pick up a little bit. I think that had something to do with the fish turning on, and and it was a nice change from yesterday where it was glassy, glassy calm and we couldn't get squat going. So uh, hey, thanks so much for joining. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for Rick in the back. My name is Mark. This is Man on a Mission Fishing, and we'll get going again here later this week or early next week for another video, and hope you can join us then. And Until then, we'll see you next time from the water. <laughs>